Eau de Cologne, Eau de Toilette, and Eau de Parfum. What's the difference? Let's find out. Hey guys, see me. Welcome back to another video. And today is gonna be the first ever lesson video. And today I'm gonna be explaining the differences between the concentration level of Eau de Cologne, Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum. What do they mean and why is it important to know these things, all right? All those questions will be answered today. Now, before we begin this video, guys, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, and that is cleararoma.com. Now, cleararoma.com is a new fragrance discounter that sells 100% authentic fragrances at competitive price. So if you're looking for a new place to buy fragrances, please check out their easy to navigate website, link below. Now, before we get into the concentration level, I have to explain to you how fragrances are made first. The fragrances are made with two main components, and that is the fragrance oils and perfumers alcohol. Now, these concentration, eau de cologne, eau de toilette, eau de perfume, signify to you like um, what, how many percentage of oils is in the fragrance, all right? Now, eau de cologne is the lowest level. They have around 8% or lower uh, concentration of oils, all right? That means 8% of 8% oil and 92% alcohol, all right? 8% or lower. Now, Eau de Toilette is a little bit more. It has around, I say, 8 to 15 percent, all right? And I say about because there's no real, like, accurate numbers, all right? Everyone is just speculating the numbers, but these are a general, general uh, percentage that I accepted in a general field, all right? But there's no dead number that tells you that this is Eau de Toilette, this is Eau de Cologne. There's no dead number. It's all <laughs> really up in the air, but these are generally accepted percentages. Next, we have Eau de Parfum. Now, Eau de Parfum has anywhere between 15 to 25 percent oil, all right? Eau de Parfum. And there's actually one more concentration level, and that is Extrait de Parfum, or in another name, Pure Parfum, all right? These two are the same thing, they're just different names, but these have around 30 percent or more oil concentration. Now, why is it important to know the differences between these concentration? Well, in the grand scheme of things, it's not really that important because I think you should always test out the fragrance uh, yourself regardless of the concentration. But sometimes you'll get a sales associate that will give you like wrong information on it. All right, guys. So that's basically it for the concentration. There's not much to it. That's really all they are. <laughs> They're just different levels of oils in the fragrance. But now that you know all that, let's get right into a myth and fact section. All right, guys. In this section, I'm gonna list all the information that's out there on the market that you might have been told by people, and I'm gonna tell you if those are myth and facts. Now, for this video, there's two main things that I want to touch on, and that first topic is. Higher concentration means longer lasting. Now you might have heard this from a lot of sales associates out there when you go and buy fragrances. They'll say like, oh, this is made, this is an Eau de Parfum. It's a stronger concentration. It lasts a very long time on you. You might have heard a lot of this. And this is absolutely a myth, all right guys? It's a myth. Higher concentration does not mean longer lasting fragrances. Well, sometimes they can mean that, but there are a lot of older toilets out there which last way longer than some Eau de Parfum and even some Extrait de Parfum. For example, Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford. That one is an Eau de Parfum. It lasts two hours, all right? Versus Dior Sauvage or Dylan Blue or Invictus Aqua, which are all Eau de Toilettes, which lasts way longer than Neroli Portofino, all right guys? Topic number two, that's higher concentration means better quality. Now, this is another thing that sales associates will tell you. They're like, this is really high quality, it's a better fragrance because it's all the puff um. It's really not, all right? Like, quality in fragrance world is relative to what you think is quality. Some people find natural ingredients to be high quality. Some people find longer lasting fragrances to be high quality. But by no means at all that an older puff foam is higher quality than an older toilet. That's just not true. All right, guys? This is just a sales tactic, and I don't want you guys to be fooled by it. Period. All right, guys? When you're buying a fragrance, please test them out yourself on your skin, regardless of the concentration. If they say that, oh, this is pure puff foam, it's gonna be long lasting forever, don't trust them. Test it out yourself. Again, higher concentration does not mean better quality product. Now on to my final thoughts on this topic. Like I said guys, it's not really that important to know, you know, eau de cologne, eau de toilette, and eau de parfum, like how, what the actual percentage are. It's not important to know the percentages, but it is important to know the myth and the facts surrounding it, all right guys? Like I said, it is not better quality, 
and it's not going to be longer lasting if the converse concentration is higher. And these sales associate, like, to be fair, I think they were trained wrong. Like, in my personal opinion, I think they were trained wrong. They were trained more to sell than to actually educate. But there are some times where, gonna, where you meet a sales associate who's really educated, who's really honest, and that's also very nice. But if you go to Macy's and Sephora, you know, they're not really trained to give you that kind of right information. All right, so at the end of the day, you really can't blame them. But this is just the knowledge for you to know so that you can make a better, smarter purchase, all right, when it comes to fragrances. And I hope this, this video was helpful. And yeah, this is my first lesson video. So let me know what you think down in the description below as well. And before I leave, don't forget to check out cleararoma.com. They've been nice enough to sponsor this video for me. And guys, check them out. They're pretty cool. And with that said, peace out, guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye.